Hi guys, this is Pranita Gangode and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe and trying to have fun in this lockdown. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna start this series kind of thing where I'm gonna talk about my life in Canada, I'm gonna talk about my experiences, all the little things that I know, I'm gonna share with you guys. So yeah, and the first topic for this series is the best intake for international students in Canada. And I mean, not the best, but I'm just gonna like, you know, talk about the pros and cons. So Canada has three intakes. Uh, the first is the fall intake, that is the September intake. Second is the winter intake, that is the January intake. And third is the mm, spring summer intake, which is the May intake. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start with winter intake because that's the intake that I came in and sometimes I think that it was the worst decision <laughs> yeah because guys it is so cold oh my gosh like I came I, I came from Mumbai so in Mumbai we literally start wearing sweaters when it's 20 degrees when it goes below 20 degrees so I directly came from like 30 degrees to minus 10 minus 15 and I feel that January is like the coldest months compared to like other months and winter is like at its peak you know what i mean so it's very cold and that is like my number one con of uh, <laughs> winter intake that it's super cold it's super on is less availability of jobs and i think it's because of the weather because in winters everything is kind of slow businesses are slow and the patios are closed and from what i have seen not a lot of like companies hire during uh winters so and the thing is that it gets dark after like 4 4 35 so you can't really go out in dark and like search for jobs right and it's like so cold <laughs> so that is the second con uh the third con is uh since fall is the primary intake uh you might not get some like there might be some courses which won't be available in the winter intake um i the top of my head i know like social media course in uh seneca it's only uh available in the fall intake and it's not there in the winter intake so you know stuff like so let's talk about the pros uh the number one is if you come for winter intake you can actually graduate in like 16 months like you can get done with your like whatever post graduation studies within 16 months and that is pretty amazing because it's less possible in fall because you graduate in april so you know it's just like there are a lot less number of courses available in may intake so you would have to take a summer break in order to do the next course so that's pretty amazing about the winter intake that you don't have to take any breaks if you don't want to because you graduate in the month of August. So you can literally just, you know, apply for September fall intake and you would be done with your education within 16 months. Another pro is if you missed your fall intake, then you can like rely a little bit on the winter intake because winter intake has a lot of courses like that's what happened with me uh i missed my fall intake you know agency things whatever <laughs> so i actually like that's why i came in winter intake like thankfully the course that i wanted was available in uh winter intake like just imagine i would have to wait like one whole year you know <laughs> so this is pretty amazing about winter intake that a lot of courses are available so let's talk about the fall intake um honestly i cannot think of any con um uh, but if i have to then the only con is uh you cannot graduate within 16 months yeah because if you come for fall intake your semester ends in april and there are very less number of courses available uh in may intake so you might have to take a summer break most of the times you have to take a summer break and wait for september intake so that's the only con that i got the pros of fall intake <laughs> like there are a lot of them a lot of them the first is since it's the primary intake, all of the courses are available, of course. <laughs> the second one is the weather. The weather is amazing because it's 
kind of like the end of summer and the start of fall so the weather is honestly very pleasant because it's not too hot or humid it's like in summers or it's not extreme cold and the thing is that it would also give you the time to like get adapted to the cold or the winters because gradually it would like you know start decreasing so you know you have the time to like you know buy you things and you know stuff like that so that's one pro uh another one is job availability like there are a lot of jobs available uh if you come for fall intake because it's kind of like summer like kind of like end of summer start of fall so a lot of jobs and also the days like is very long so you have a lot of time on your hand to be like productive unlike winter of course <laughs> so so let's talk about the may intake uh the con about may intake is very less number of courses are available like you have very less number of options very very less number of options uh compared to winter intake uh like there is a high possibility that the course you want might not be there in may intake so that's a con about may and so the pro is the weather of course uh, like the weather is honestly amazing in may uh, from what i have seen we kind of have the uh, goodbye snow in may and after that the temperature like just keeps on increasing until it reaches to a point where it's like unbearable <laughs> yeah but i love summers no complaining so may intake is kind of like the end of spring springs are amazing i love springs and start of summer uh, summer starts in like mid june or officially starts in like mid june or i guess end of the june but anyway so the weather is amazing and of course again a lot of job availability because it's the patio season and like from what i have seen like everywhere like you would see a hiring hiring board you know so the job availability is amazing in uh may intake so yeah so that's all for today uh i tried my best to think of all the pros and cons but i might have missed few who knows <laughs> but if you do find this video a little helpful then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more canada related content until then bye bye